the covert today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! Ah! Hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! Well, Paul, that's all the garbage for today. Hoo-wee, Joe. That is one giant, enormous ball of trash. Yep, sure is gonna be a lot of work hauling it off to the dump. A lot of work. Say, I got a better idea. Hey, wait a second. You can't just blast that trash into space. It's illegal. Oh, what they don't know won't hurt him. Wonder where it'll end up. Who cares? All I know is it ain't our problem no more. Hey guys! Lloyd! Look what I got! A brand new pack of Q bubblegum! Mm mm! Q bubblegum? You mean the square gum for cool kids? That's right! Anybody want some? Definitely! Not me! I'm scared of gum! I best decline as well. Q-Bubble turns my mouth blue. And I want to make an especially good impression on this special day. Since when is Tuesday special? Why, don't you recall? Today is the career fair. We get to meet with professionals from all across the station and choose a career of interest. And then tomorrow, we will actually spend a day experiencing said career. Oh, yeah, the career fair. I don't suppose I'll get to spend the day with an intergalactic space hero. Erm, um, one doubt. But there might be mathematicians. Come now, our futures await us! Yippee! I'm with you, Lloyd. They're not gonna have any cool careers at this career fair. I say we lay low and maybe no one will even notice us. Sounds like a plan. Hey, you! What's that thing you're standing on? Uh, the floor. And that round thing over there? A trash can? Wow, you do know the difference. So stop using the floor as a trash can. Pick up them gum wrappers and put them where they belong. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Stinko. Jeez, I think somebody's taking his job a little too seriously. He's just a garbage man for Zul's sake. I guess if I got stuck with a job picking up trash all day, I'd be a little cranky, too. Cranky and smelly. You know, come to think of it, some of those career fair jobs might not be so bad after all. Last one on the bus is a stinko! <laughs> Kids. All right, now, listen up. This is the Luna Vista Career Fair. We've got volunteers from all over Intrepidville. Each one's going to take one of you to work with them tomorrow so you can see what it means to be a professional adult. So go out there and start planning the rest of your lives. You've got 15 minutes starting right now. Well... As long as we're here, we might as well look around. My, Edward, such pessimism. Surely there's a plethora of exciting career opportunities just waiting to be discovered. Why, look there! It's two officers from the command center. The command center? Only lamos work there. Yeah, and that's where my mom works. Well, I, for one, am intrigued. Well, I, for two, am too. Ah, young men, I see you're interested in the Intrepidville Command Center. Excellent choice. Intern with us, and you'll have a chance to work with the latest data and communications equipment we have to offer. Fascinating! And I get to make cocoa. Chocolatey goodness! I sure hope they've got something cooler than that around here. most thrilling career opportunity in the quadrant. Hey, that sounds promising. After all, if it weren't for the glasses I prescribe for the citizens of Intrepidville, many of them wouldn't be able to read. And others would find it impossible to catch their prey. Looking good, Dr. Autos. Sign me up. You are a boy of true vision. Ooh, an optometrist. That is thrilling. That eye had a lot of nerve making like he was interesting. Yeah. But hey, check out this guy. Hey, mister, so you're a real live agent? That's right, son. Yes, a secret agent. You got any exploiting gadgets? <laughs> no, boys, I'm not a secret agent. I'm a real estate agent. And get this, I don't just handle residential property. I handle commercial property, too. Be still, my hearts. That's just what I was hoping. Residential and commercial property? I don't even know what that is and I can tell it's lame. Can you believe these dopes? Where are all the rock stars and billionaire lazy guys? Couldn't they have at least one cool job? This is like so totally cool. What you're telling me is that as a clothing store manager, you not only get to spend all day in the mall. In like the mall? In like the mall. But you also get fashions at a discount? And you could totally boss around the sales plebs who work for you? Totally. Totally. Totally awesome. Intense. Seriously intense. Like, like mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That was totally, intensely disgusting. Okay, time's up. Has everyone picked a career? I guess we gotta sign up for something. 
Aw, oh, darn, Lloyd, old buddy. Looks like everything's taken. Oh, well, pal. I guess we're just too late to have a career. What are you talking about, Nebulon? We've got careers for everybody. Alas, Mrs. Bolt, it appears as though we don't. Huh? Well, that's impossible. Yeah, old sacks of racks. Seems Dr. McGuffin and Fire Marshal Gluglugly never showed up. Hey, I'm as upset as you are. <sighs> I guess we'll just have to spend tomorrow reading comics. Confound it! Oh, no, you don't. I ain't babysitting you goof-offs. I got a hot oil treatment tomorrow. There's got to be some sucker who can take you around. Aha! I think I know just the man. Hey! Mr. Stinko! Come over here! Oh, no, Mrs. Bolt, not Mr. Stinko. He's a garbage man. And he's got it in for us. In for you, huh? I like him already. What can I do you for, Mrs. Bolt? These two career-minded young men would like to find out what it's like to be a hard-working professional. How'd you like to take them with you tomorrow for some on-the-job training? These two? I, I had the same reaction, Mr. Stinko. It's the most ridiculous thing we've ever heard, too. But never you mind, big fella. Just go on back to your trash cans and we'll forget this ever happened. Yeah, see ya. Pleasure as always. Why, Mrs. Bolt, I would be delighted. Oh. Oh, come on, boys, cheer up. Just think, tomorrow you're going to be real live garbage men. Good morning, Lloyd. Time to begin your day as an apprentice garbage boy. <sighs> To quote the rooster, cock-a-doodle-doo. I'm simultaneously waking your good friend Eddie at this very moment. I can't hear you. I'm asleep. All righty, then. Hmm. Now hear this. Huh? Okay, now I'm awake. And ready to collect garbage. Morning, Eddie. Morning, Lloyd. How'd you sleep? Not enough. Oh, well, like they say, the early bird pleases the stinko. The ins two are five minutes late. Now stop your lollygagging and suit up. Ah, that's more like it. Now you're starting to look like pros. Uh, yeah. Only, nothing personal, Mr. Stinko, but these clothes reek. Yeah, and who are Rory and Goober? Enough with the questions. Trash don't just wait around for us all day. Put on your boots and let's get going. Yes, sir. You don't suppose that's Goober, do you? All right, boys. Here's where our working day begins. Follow me. Um, Mr. Stinko, you mean we're supposed to slide down the trash chute? And into the sewer. Bombs away! Heck, maybe it'll be fun. It's not fun! Ugh. Enough with the chit-chat already. Now pay attention. That is trash. This is a trash cart. What we do is take that trash and put it into this trash cart. But there must be like 30 bags. Oh. Ow. 31. Yeah. Now get loaded. Uh, isn't it kind of early in the morning for heavy lifting? No, but it's way too early for heavy whining. A real garbage man would know this. On every ship and every sphere, from every trash can there to here, we'll pick up garbage with good cheer. We're sanitation engineers. Do all garbage guys memorize that? The ones who care. Now stop heaving! Oh. <sighs> well, that's the last one, Mr. Stinko. <sighs> We're finally done. Done? Ha! We ain't done by a long shot. This here's stop number two. But I don't see any bags around. At this stop, we go up and get them. Good. At least we're getting out of this smelly tunnel. I sure could use some fresh air. Ah! Mildred H. Mofton! Eddie, what's wrong? You're not going to believe this, Lloyd. We're right in the middle of the mall. Oh, man, we can't go out there looking or smelling like this. Well, come on, boys. What you waiting for? The magic garbage fairy? I guess we got to go out there. Oh, magic garbage fairy, if you do exist, please make me invisible. Finally. All right, now I got this can. Yins to go empty those cans over there. Yes, sir. Hey, maybe without my customary striped shirt and that vest of yours, nobody will recognize us. Let's hope so. I'm sorry, Dr. Optos, but these glasses are terrible. I can't see a thing. Hey, <laughs> we made it. I don't know what we were so worried about. No one noticed us at all. Like you? Why do you that smell? Uh-oh. 
Like, it's Horton and Nebulon. They're garbage dorks. Ew, get away, filthies. We don't want to be contaminated. Okay, okay, we're going. Just keep it down, will you? We don't want the whole galaxy to see us. Are you, like, kidding? This is the most hilarious gossip of the year. Attention, Attention all shoppers. shoppers. Horton, Horton and, and Nebulon, Nebulon are garbage dorks. Repeat, <laughs> Horton and Nebulon are garbage dorks. <laughs> Man, could this be any more humiliating? Man, what an embarrassing morning. First the mall, the country club, the high school. I can't believe we had to pick up garbage in the middle of cheerleading practice. Even the boy cheerleaders made fun of us. Man, I hate surface people. All right, just one more stop. Thank goodness. Right up this ladder. Well, come on, let's see some hustle. <sighs> <sighs> Hello, boys. Huh? Oh, hi, Mom. Mr. Stinko, I'm glad you came by. The bridge trash containers are nearing maximum capacity. We're on it, Commander. Boys, you start on the waste baskets over by them consoles while I talk trash with the Commander. Yes, sir. So tell me, Sir Elias, how are the boys doing? I ain't so sure yet, Commander. Why, observe, Kurt. It's our friends Lloyd and Eddie. Hello, our friends Lloyd and Eddie. How's it going as trash guys? Mortifyingly humiliating. Ah, uh, but no doubt you've learned a lot about sanitation management. Yeah, we learned it's really hard. Well, not only that. Actually, it's kind of a bum deal. Yeah, I mean, when you're a trash guy, everyone makes fun of you. I never realized how unfair that was. Neat! You know what I learned? I learned to push this button! Uh, Kurt, that's the light switch. That's what I learned! Great. You guys keep up the good work. We've got trash to take out. So, Kurt, would you like to learn how to operate something else besides the light switch? I'll try, Mr. Leary. Okay. This is the radar-operated collision warning system. It tells us when foreign objects are going to collide with the station. But I like to use it for video games. Nifty! What's a foreign object? Beats me. Boy, she's loaded up. Now all we gotta do is unload her. Next up, Dark on Five, the landfill planet. All right, time to unload. You boys open up the back. Oh well, Rory. Here we go again. Yep, Goober. Time to start hoisting out them bags. Stand back, boys. I gotta hoist them bags! Hey, finally! Something that doesn't derf! Cool, Mr. Stinko! Can we try? Sorry, boys. You gotta be members of the Intergalactic Sanitation Engineers Union, Local 149. Oh. <laughs> I'm just yanking your antenna. Have at it, boys. All right! I call first! Now remember, you're going for distance. Afraid you slice that one. Let a pro show you how it's done. Hey, the 200 mark. Pretty good. That's nothing. Bullseye! Thanks to the old garbage squid. Man, I gotta try that trick. Sorry, boys. Ain't no more bags left. What? No way! That went so fast! Hey, time flies when you're catapulting garbage. I reckon you boys could use some lunch, huh? Come on! I know a nice little picnic spot just over the hill. A nice picnic spot? On this stump? Whoa! Mr. Stinko, this is amazing! You built this whole thing out of junk? Yep, fused together some old robots for structural support. And this flooring's made of shopping carts. Wow, I never thought trash could be so beautiful. Thanks. Uh, you boys like Orbit Pies? Yeah, definitely. I got Sugalberry and Pecan. I found them in a dumpster. <laughs> You're too easy. I'm joking. Eat. Uh, Mr. Stinko? I'm sorry I laughed at you yesterday. That really wasn't cool. But you know something, sir? You actually are kind of cool. Aw, uh, heck, you kids ain't half bad yourselves. In fact, you're turning into a couple of pretty competent garbage men. Thanks. I'll take that as a compliment. Man, this is the life. Sitting back in a trash palace, listening to the chitter of the gator rats, watching the stars twinkling through the fumes. Say, what are you supposed to deal is with that moving green star? Moving green star? That ain't no star. That's a trash droid. And it's headed straight for Intrepidville! Is that bad? Boys, it ain't just bad. It's a disaster! Ah! 
Whoops. Looks like I blew you up again, Kurt. That makes 48 times. No, nah, fiddle fiddle. What are you two doing? I switched this important radar console to video game mode. We're having lots of fun, Commander. Larry, you can't take the collision warning system offline. Turn it back the way it was. Okay, you're the Commander. But nothing ever collides with us anyway. <laughs> Uh-oh, spoke too soon. Collision in 20 minutes. What in the void? It's true, Commander. A large foreign object is headed straight for us. Go to red alert, now! <laughs> we're doomed, we're doomed. <laughs> we're doomed. This sure is a realistic game. Would both of you shut up? This is a delicate situation. The Commander needs to think. Think, Commander, think! It's all right, Douglas. I've already got a plan. Bridge to docking bay. Fuel up a fighter. Commander, what are you going to do? The only thing I can do. Calling Intrepidville. Intrepidville Command Central here. This is Stinko. Get me Command in Nebula. It's urgent. I'm afraid the Commander is a little too busy right now to discuss matters of sanitation. As we speak, she's flying out to vaporize an incoming foreign object with a plasma torpedo. Sweet grick at that! She can't do that! She can and she will. She's very capable. Now please stay off this frequency. <laughs> I gotta get up there and stop her. You've gotta stop her? How come? You can't shoot a plasma torpedo into a trash droid. It just makes things worse. This is gonna be dangerous. You boys better stay here. But Mr. Stinko, what if you need our help? You've gotta let us come. We did sign up for the whole day, sir. You really are turning into garbage men. All right, get in and buckle up. Intrepidville, this is Commander Nebulon. I have visual contact with the target. I don't know how many shots I'm going to get at this thing. Just in case, you better prepare Intrepidville for impact. Roger, Commander. Citizens of Intrepidville, Commander Nebulon has reached the incoming object. But, uh, just in case she misses, collision is projected to occur in five minutes, so hang on to something. That is all. Calibrating plasma torpedo. Now. Target is locked. Torpedo charged and ready to fire. Firing in three, two... One. Hold your fire! Hold your fire! What the? Stingo, what in the name of Poof Tax Harem do you think you're doing? Commander Nebula, you've got to break off your attack. Are you out of your mind? Ma'am, please listen. That thing out there is made of garbage. You hit it with a plasma torpedo and it'll set off a chain reaction. That one trash droid will break up into a deadly shower of flaming trash droids. But it's the only way I can fight it. I understand that, ma'am, but I have another way. Mom, you gotta listen to him. Lloyd? Mr. Stinko is a professional, Mom. He knows his garbage. Garbage is his life. Please, let him take it out. All right, Stinko. I'm breaking off. You've got three minutes to impact. Do it. And good luck to all of you. Got the procedure down? Yes, sir. Let's move out. Hey, check it out. The big ball of doom is getting outrageously close. Two minutes till impact. Oh, this game is no fun at all. All right, men, we're in position. You know what to do. Now. Secure! Secure! Fall back! And... Bang! Whoa, they made a giant trash bag. Yes! All right, men. Now for the hard part. Hang on! Slowing down! <laughs> Stinko, can you do it? I'm rerouting all emergency power to the thrusters!
Bill, you're a total hero. Nah, I'm just taking out the garbage. It's what I do every day. You really do. Every day, don't you? And if you didn't, it really would be a disaster. Heck yeah, we'd be swimming in trash if it wasn't for guys like you. Sorry, Mr. Stinko. Like it or not, that qualifies you as a real-life hero as far as I'm concerned. Same here. Yeah, yeah. When are you two gonna learn to shut your yap so we can get some work done? It's time to dispose of this garbage properly. You think you can handle another trip out the dark on five? Do we think we can handle it? You said yourself we're turning into a couple of real garbage men. And like any other garbage man would say, on every ship and every sphere, from every trash can there to here, we'll pick up garbage with good cheer. We're sanitation engineers!